Peonies are wonderful plants to grow in the garden. They provide beautiful, voluptuous blooms in early summer, so a fleeting time between May and June. So it is short, however, when they do bloom, look at those stunning flowers. The flowers come in a range of colours from yellow, coral, pink through to even purple. And then there's the foliage. So the foliage stands looking glossy and beautiful throughout the summer, but into autumn, there's often really beautiful autumn colour too. There are three different types of peony. There's the herbaceous, there's the tree peony, and then a hybrid of the two, the intersectional. So there's definitely a peony for you. Peonies are best grown in full sun. They will tolerate a little bit of dappled shade, but they really are sun lovers. In terms of soil, they really want free draining soil, so they don't want to sit wet, particularly through the winter. They also really enjoy good air circulation around them, so they mustn't be encroached by other plants around them. But if you select a good location for your peony, they'll be there for many generations to come, decades even. Peonies are available as bare root plants, you can get these in the autumn and spring. Plant them as soon as you get them. Uh, so don't keep them in the packaging too long. Plant them straight away. It's important to remember, don't plant them too deeply. So the crown must sit just two and a half centimetres below the soil. Remember to keep them watered, but don't overwater them. We don't want them to sit soggy in the soil, particularly through into the winter. Peonies are ideally grown in the ground. However, if you don't have a patch of ground that you can grow them in, you can try growing them in a pot. The essential thing is to make sure that that pot is large enough to house that peony for at least a few years. Uh, you really don't want to be sort of disrupting it. So this is a nice big pot for a, for a plant this size. The other thing just to sort of talk about in relation to pots is use a glazed one. Um, what that will do is it will just hold moisture into the pot. Uh, a porous clay pot is going to allow the moisture to evaporate out of the sides. If you've got a clay pot like that, then you can use an old uh, compost bag to line the pot with. You have to make sure that you put lots of drainage holes in the bottom. And then you'd put a crock in the bottom of that pot to just aid drainage and prevent the hole at the bottom of the pot from blocking up. In terms of soil, we're using a potting compost with lots of uh, topsoil mixed in, so a 50-50 peat-free potting mix with topsoil too. And I quite like to add a slow-release fertiliser, so I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of bone meal in this and mix that in. It's really essential that you don't overdo it with a fertiliser, but we, this slow-release will be really, really great for the plant sort of give it what it needs so it can be in that pot for a few years. We're firming in, making sure that there's no air pockets and you also don't want the level of the soil to slump when you water. And we've got uh, a really lovely herbaceous peony here um, and this is Sarah Bernhardt. Pre-watered it so that it's come out of its pot nice and easily. So it's got beautiful root system there. We're just teasing out gently not overrooted at all. Now it's really important that we get the level of this peony in the pot right. If we plant it too deep the peony might stop flowering actually so making sure that the crown of the plant, this section where all the buds are coming out of, is no more than two and a half centimetres beneath the soil surface. So I think that we could do it a little bit more soil in there just to bring the level up a little bit. And you want that nice and central in your pot you want to firm in well around the edges. So really important, again, we don't want to get that crown buried too deep. We don't want our peony to come up sort of flowering blind, really. Lastly, what I would say is that while this bud's very small now, that's going to swell and uh, create a really large, beautiful bloom. And what can sometimes happen particularly when you've got it in a pot, is that actually those stems bend down and start sort of buckling under the weight of that bloom. So what I quite like to do is to use some old hazel stems or willow, and you can create a little cage around your peony to sort of hold it in place. And as the peony grows, you're gonna hide that cage, but those stems will hold your your flowering stems in place nice and upright so that you can enjoy those blooms. And all that we need to do now is give this plant a really good drink. 
In terms of care and maintenance, peonies are really quite low maintenance. Uh, they don't really require too much at all. Keeping them well watered when they're newly planted is important, particularly in their first couple of years. You want to mulch around the plant and that offers uh, some feed and keeps suppresses weeds and locks in moisture. The blooms on particularly the, the herbaceous um, peonies can weigh down the plant. So having some natural supports, I like to use hazel or willow or something from the garden that sort of blends in really beautifully, but you can create a cage around the plant before it starts to come up that will support the plant and, and hold those blooms nice and steady. If you want to propagate your peonies, it's relatively easy to do so. There is a bit of a myth about peonies that you can't lift them and they don't transplant well. But actually, if you if you want to propagate them, you can lift the plant, take off sections with at least three good strong dormant buds, cut off the, those sections with a little root system, pot them on or plant them out. The critical thing is, is that you must get the level right in the soil. It's a, it's a commonly made mistake to plant them too deeply, so two and a half centimetres below the surface of the soil no more and firm in water well, replant your original clump and, and you'll have more plants. In terms of pruning peonies, it's important to remember that there are three different types. So we have tree peonies, we have herbaceous peonies and we have intersectional peonies which are a hybrid of the tree peony and the herbaceous peony. In terms of pruning, the tree peony really doesn't require any pruning to keep it flowering and keep it healthy. It's just generally to maintain the shape as and when required. Herbaceous peonies, we would cut all the stems to the base in late autumn into the winter and pretty much the same with an intersectional. Uh, if there is a woody stem or trunk on your intersectional peony, then we leave that where possible, but otherwise it's a good idea to take all the stems down to the base and your peonies will generate back up from the ground. Peonies are really pest and disease free. However, good air circulation really helps maintain a healthy plant. The ailments that they can suffer with, powdery mildew, and that again, that's to do with air circulation around your plant, but also maintaining good watering. So if they get dry, they'll be more susceptible to powdery mildew. The other disease that affects peonies is peony blight. And again, good air circulation will prevent that fungal disease. Peonies are beautiful plants. There's so much color and variation across the species and the cultivars. Two of my favorites are Molly the Witch, which is a beautiful yellow peony, which also has the most beautiful red toothy-like seeds that sort of show in autumn. The other one is uh, Peony tenuifolia, which has really intersected fine feathery fern-like foliage and a beautiful tiny red bloom. I really love peonies and I encourage you to find one, grow it in your garden and I'm sure you'll love it too.